It'll make it easier to carry the gun with a hot barrel. You won't burn your hands. Now, it's not made for stability and accuracy, but if you're in a pinch, you can shoot and move with this. Let me show you. I couldn't hit the side of a barn with that thing. You better start practicing. Yeah. Ladies and our gentlemen, Bungle, hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going over Enlisted the War II free to play first person shooter. Much requested, much talked about. Hey, Bungle, talk about the Browning, the M1919. A6, basically known as the 30 cal that you get in the Invasion of Normandy campaign. Now, if you're watching this video, new viewer, possibly your subscriber, maybe one name, Bungle, what do we do here? Well, I give you an overview, kind of telling you what are we reviewing today. Next, I talk about the performance. Is it good? Is it bad? And lastly, is it worth it? So without further ado, let's begin. Starting off with the overview. All right, so this is a machine gun that can be equipped by machine gunner squads and enlisted for the Allies in the Invasion Army campaign. This is obtained as a high-end tier reward for the Allies in the Invasion Army campaign. So you have to go kind of grind to get to the end content for the Invasion Army to get this machine gun. Now moving down to its performance, how does the 30 cal perform? Well, pretty much right away, we have a 30 caliber round that we are firing. And keep in mind, this is a belt-fed magazine machine gun that has 100 rounds. And if you have a large ammo pouch, well, you basically are carrying out 400 rounds in the combat. That is a lot of ammunition. Now, when we talk about the stock and power of the 30 cal, of course, it's an easy one-shot. The fire rate on it, of course, isn't as fast as, let's say, a BAR. It's not as fast as a MG42. RMG 34. But, in my opinion, from playing it, from testing it, it's a relatively the fire rate. I don't really have an issue with it. It's actually a very, very stable weapon that you can even fire on the go with it. That there really is no recoil. I haven't really noticed any recoil with it whatsoever, especially firing with it on the move. In my opinion, when we compare fire rates, let's say to a BAR, you notice that the BAR is going to shoot faster, of course. Same with the MG42 and the MG34. But one of the big differences between these weapons, and of course the 50 cal, is one, this weapon can be fired on the move, no problem. There isn't really any recoil. You, know, you don't have to counterbalance it. You don't have to get it the prone. You don't have to do everything to mitigate the stability of the weapon. And another addition is just having all those rounds, 100 rounds for a belt-fed magazine machine gun. You realize it starts making a big difference, especially when you are in choke points and close quarter areas and areas where there's a lot of enemies moving around the battlefield. You, that, that 100 rounds is going to really, really help you out. Now, moving down to is it worth it? Do I recommend you grinding, going all the way down the Allied campaign tech tree for a Normandy to get this machine gun? And in my opinion, I'm going to say yes. This is one of the best light machine guns in the game. In, in my opinion, I think it's the best. The reason why it's pretty simple. Sure, the fire rate may not be as fast as, let's say, the MG42, the BAR, MG34. Okay, but at the same time, this weapon I can go and move and fire with it with like no recoil without a need to compensate, which is really, really nice and beneficial. A plus 100 rounds basically gives you a lot more flexibility when it comes to reloading and managing your round. Also, having 100 rounds, make sure that like you don't have to reload constantly. You're not really worried about your round management with how many rounds you have left in the magazine or in the belt. And the softened power on this weapon is very good. In my opinion, it performs the same as any other machine gun in Alyssa, whatever machine guns are known usually to be a one-hit kill if not two so picking this weapon up and when i used it and as i grinded to get them for a176 i really noticed that it really you know enhanced my gameplay where i can equip this with all the other machine gun squads that i have unlocked to take this out on the battlefield and have a very very fun time with it i really really did enjoy playing with this weapon i highly recommend for those that play normandy that play the allies to so definitely continue their grind to get this weapon because you will see it is a very very good weapon my opinion I think it may get nerfed a little bit just because of how strong it is currently, but we will see. I definitely see this weapon being added to other campaigns such as 
the Battle of Tunisia, Battle of Tunisia. Definitely seeing this ad, it is going to be totally a big game changer too over there as well. Other than that, the reason for the video, new viewer, possibly new subscriber, will hope today is today that earn your subscription. Come to your sub and mash that like button. It does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Return your sub, return your viewer. Let me know your thoughts. Are you going to go and grind for the 30 cal? Other than that, hope you all have a great day. Take care.